Okay, so people, last year we had Rebel Dykes, right? Which was this really interesting look at, oh, like this alternative scene and how, like, I don't know, these, these different cultures all fit within this space and nothing really mattered. You know, those differences weren't a thing. It was about enjoying the music and spending time with each other and all of that. So this year, it was interesting to see Kevin Hague's new thing called Tramps. Right, their tagline punk is dead, long live the new romantics. Ah. Uh, so yeah, Haig he wrote and directed, it's produced by Brian Robertson, and it features people such as Judy Blaine, um, Doogie Fields, and Princess Julia. Uh, and the gist is this, rising from the nihilistic ashes of the punk movement in the late 70s, a fresh crowd of flamboyant fashionistas who would later be christened the New Romantics began to materialize on the streets of London, an elaborating, styled, gender non-conforming response to the anarchists' anti-fashion that preceded it. The new romantics came dressed to the nines. I mean, not all of them. <laughs> Be it for a night out on the town or just to pop down to the local shops. While so often remembered as a fleeting pop cultural phenomenon, this invigorating documentary firmly positions the new romantics as a multidisciplinary art movement encompassing fashion, performance, music, and film. Alongside this cultural recontextualization, director Kevin Haig shines a long overdue spotlight on some of the movement's lesser known pioneers. Um, step aside Spandau Ballet, while proudly Centering the LGBTQIA plus stories that are so often erased from history. A pulsating, provocative and bracingly queer celebration of art, community, creative resilience with the world um, watching. So, yeah, it was definitely an interesting piece right we saw there was a lot of archival footage which i think it definitely helped something like this because otherwise it's just people kind of sitting around talking um and there is that we do get like these interviews with people i'm not quite sure what princess julia does <laughs> even from the end of it i, I still wasn't quite sure what princess julia does or <laughs> what she did back then you know what I mean? but it, it was definitely interesting seeing like these people and their view on things because it definitely feels like it was a lot different to now right a lot of people want to be famous rich you know what i mean it's all this but some of the, these people they were just like oh no i i just did this stuff because i loved it right it wasn't about making a whole heap of money then again oftentimes people that aren't making money say it's not about making money right when really i wish i made money <laughs> that, that, that's, that's the underlying but you have to go well you know you have to believe in what people are saying um so, yeah, but it was interesting, right, to see all of this and to see um, people like Boy George and like get the kind of insight on how people blew up, right? Sometimes it was just like overnight, literally overnight, but they'd been doing a thing for years, right? And it's just one person sees them and then they get this break and then it's just like, boom. There you go. Uh, and, yeah, it's just fascinating. They they just talk about everything, everything here. 
you know, drug use, like relationships, you know what I mean? Just, uh, fuck, what do you call it when you're not monogamous? That. <laughs> you know what I Talk about that and just this whole thing. One thing I always find interesting, though, is because, you know, when you go back and you look at stuff in, like, the 80s and stuff, AIDS always comes up, right? And everyone always talks about, oh, man, it ravaged this community and it did this and blah, 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 and it was crazy. My friends were dying. About... But it's just, like, no one ever goes, I mean, no one really wanted to use protection, right? Because protection is there. <laughs> <laughs> but and you do wonder, like, why are you not use condoms? Like, what was going on? What was the thought process here? And, and there's never, there is never that notion put across. Like, is <laughs> you kind of you'd be like, yo, people, strap up. Strap up, you know this thing is running through the community. Protect yourselves. It's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, we, we, we just see all of that. It, it's, an, it's an interesting piece. Like you have um, a dude at the Tate talking about the art and stuff. I mean, I think when it comes to the art, it would have been interesting to also get some other people's point of view, right? Because... The, there's people who, who are just, you know, again, this dude from the Tate, he, he's talking about it being like, yo, it was this and it was that and blah, 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 which is cool. But, right, it, it would be interesting to get the other side of that, right? Because, I don't know, some of it you look at and be like, oh, that's crazy. Some of it you're like, mm, I ain't feeling that. And, and so I, th I think sometimes it, it's good to get people, you know, with that, right? Being like, yo, it was always interesting to see what they came out with. But some of it was great. Some of it was just bonkers, right? No one really understood it. But you kind of figured it's from this person, so let's go, right? Just say something a little bit different, right? It doesn't always have to be praise, um, so, I, yeah, I would have been curious to get uh, some different insights on that and some of the other stuff. Like, there's the dude like Lee, who I don't even know, right? Just kind of painted up his whole face. And it's a it's an interesting look. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's an like, it's, it was... I don't know, it was kind of weird. It was kind of weird. I don't know what he was trying to do. But, yeah, it was just like, you know, um, different, different points. There's not everyone, not everyone is going to love these looks and stuff. Even though, like, I would say, like, the, the fashion shoots and stuff like that, that looked crazy different you know to the norm which was very stoic right very um formal you know walking up and down and you know a little bit of music maybe playing but they they made it this big thing this party this event that's some interesting shit you know um but we then didn't really get why the brand stopped so there's, like, although we got a lot of kind of new information here, you know, a lot of interesting insights and all of that, there's also stuff that you'd be like, oh, you, I wish you'd have gone more into this, right? Being curious to find out more about that, you know, that would have been cool. Uh, they did go heavy on the music. The music was mad loud. <laughs> <laughs> the music was mad loud. Sometimes you'd be like, yo, I, I can't really hear the people, man. Turn the music down. I don't know if that's an age thing. or <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, there, I, I do think the music was a little heavy. Um, there's places that I don't think needed the music. You know, when people were talking and all of that jazz. But 
Tramps is definitely an interesting documentary with, um, yeah, with stuff that I think we haven't seen before or maybe contemplated. So, I, you know, that is always intriguing, right? When we get something like that, that kind of breaks new ground and doesn't just tread the, the same old shit that we've seen, you know, numerous times before. So, yeah, I mean, Tramps, like Rebel Dykes, is very interesting. Very interesting. And if you loved that scene, you know, if you were a New Romantics fan, I think... Yo, I think this is going to be right up your ticket. No, that is not the expression, is it? Nope. No, it's not. I don't know what it is, but just when I said that, that did not sound right at all. But anyway, people, I mean, yeah, if, if you were a new romantics fan, then, or if you've just discovered it, I mean, yeah, Tramps is going to really be intriguing for you i think you're gonna really enjoy it and if if not if you just like a music documentary then tramps could well be for you people so um yeah keep an eye out um when it gets released because i don't know <laughs> but yo i'll put you know links in the episode so you follow those people you know, and I'm sure that information will become clear when it is about to drop. Okay, so yeah, tramps, new romantics, all that crazy. Maybe.